Now, you'll be wondering why we're 500 years into the future and humanity has weapons that seem somewhat primitive. There is a law reason for this. Uh, human Humanity went through a somewhat golden age and they focused more on things like um, terraforming planets, manufacturing, um, you know, exploring the galaxy, inventing faster than light travel, building massive starships. Weapons research did take quite the back seat. Uh, now, the, the weapons, if you read the law, uh, they are actually very powerful and much more advanced than what we have. But this is why um, humanity, you know, from a military standpoint, isn't super powerful. In fact, it actually sounds like this thing has an internal combustion engine. It doesn't. It's actually a hydrofusion engine. Runs on water. Uh, all military vehicles use hydrofusion engines. Um, but as the war between the Covenant and the games go on, obviously being locked in battle, humanity's weapons do start getting a lot more advanced. Uh, especially when they start integrating Covenant technology. Excellent. Okay. Right, well, let's just concentrate on keeping keys alive. Yeah, so the majority of human vehicles are... Oh, that's music. Are battery-powered. But military vehicles generally use hydrofusion engines and run on water. God, listen to that music. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some choices to make. Now, if you get lost here, you can kind of do this uh, in any way you want. Uh, we've got some beacons laid out before us. Um, you can tackle these anyway. Uh, but if you do get lost, eventually Cortana will ping you some coordinates that you can follow. But we hopefully won't be getting lost. This ain't my first rodeo, Chief. Now, we do want to kick Avery Johnson out in a minute. Because we want to get the sniper. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. All right. Let's get them done. Let's kill the lot. Come on, Johnson. There we go. Clean sweep. Even the little bastards that are running. Now, the great thing about the Halo engine um, and the way it works is you can glitch vehicles through areas that aren't supposed to be glitched through. And, you know, you can really jam this Warthog in places where it's never designed to be. Um, in other games, you know, it always felt like the vehicle was on a, a locked track. You couldn't topple it over. It wasn't really a physics-based vehicle. It was just sellotaped to the ground. But... Halo being really based around physics, you can do a lot of fun stuff. Anyway, let's switch this up and grab the sniper rifle. It is a much, much better weapon than the pistol, at least for long range anyway. Right. Now, we've got some soldiers up here, but we... I'm going to go take the hog. Now, I believe in the anniversary edition, it's a little bit more janky to get the hog up here. Nope, it's fine. There we go. Evening, guys. Now, we will... Oh, yeah, okay. So, we can see... 
that the cobby bastards are landing. That's fine. Let's get to work. These guys are called jackals. And they are scavengers. And um, before they were integrated into the Covenant, they were basically space pirates. And they still very much act like space pirates. Okay, let's wait for this dropship. Excellent. It's actually really handy having that gun there. Protecting our men. Our men are kind of scattered throughout this valleyway here. Amongst the rocks. Eventually, they will start moving up as things start getting a little bit more serious. Yeah, this weapon uh, it is so nice. Looks like we've got some more coming in. Oh, hello. Yeah, not the most accurate rifle, but you can use it long range with a little bit of patience ooh fucking lucky hinge head there come on let's put a fresh magazine in that ooh you coming this way are you I see it was a tough nut to crack Take out the leadership. Soldiers should just about be able to handle the grunts. Not having a lot of luck there, are we? Okay. Right. It does sound like we have a human sniper. Or at least a marine with a sniper. Which is something we want to try and capitalize on you're done jackals are a little bit of a tougher nut to crack you can see the marines have actually all did they just get grenaded they just got grenaded didn't they coming through guys Um, we've just rolled it. <laughs> Whoa, that's fine. That's fine. Everybody get back on board. I don't really want you on board, Johnson. We kind of want the sniper guy. There's the sniper. Right, let's get you off, Johnson. Let's put the pressure on these guys. Now... Where's my sniper friend? There he is. We want him on board. If we can help it. So what we want to do, we want to wait for these guys to actually take out all the coffees. Oh, what happened to your shield, mate? We're fine. Everything's under control. Right, cool. Uh, this might be a long video, so I'm going to cut this one in half. Right. No, get off. Get off, Johnson. We want... No. God damn it. Oi. Get out. Yes, there we go. We've got the sniper on board now. Right, now we can really make things happen. Now, unfortunately, Johnson won't get on the um, Pelican because he's been with us. He's technically not coded to go jump into that Pelican, which kind of sucks. But we're going to just pretend that he was smart enough to get on board. Right, let's see if we can't just get out of it. There we go. Oof, lovely. Now, is there any more ammo here for the sniper rifle? There is not. I'm sure there was. No. It's fine. We'll get some more. We've got a sniper on board now anyway, so happy days.
Gatling gun and a sniper. What more could you want? Uh, so, yeah, snipers are legendary in Halo. They're almost broken with how powerful they are. And they are worth <laughs> trying to get on board. Oh, we've got Banshees coming in. Time for some evasive maneuvers. Come on, guys. Yeah, man. Ooh. Not great. So, Banshees actually have a rather nasty fuel rod cannon on board. And it doesn't pull any punches. It's one gone. Oof. Hopefully, they haven't killed my sniper. Nope, sniper's still good. Yeah, we got him. Right. Okay, that was a little bit hairy there. Yeah, that's, oh god, our men are really quite battered, but that's fine. That's fine. Right, let's go. Past the smouldering wreckage of the Banshees. Yeah, if any videos do become too long, I will have to cut them in half just because my internet will complain. Okay. This looks promising. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is where we've already been. Son of a bitch. Yeah, there are multiple ways to explore this map, which is really cool. But that's okay. We can just enjoy our time on Halo together. Enjoy the scenic routes. Ooh, we don't want to go down there. Now, human vehicles in this game cannot be destroyed. They can be rolled, and your men can be killed, and you can be killed. But human vehicles are pretty safe. Ah, this looks a little bit more promising. Hopefully our sniper will start doing something. Come on. Come on, sniper. There we go. Now, he will practically kill everybody. He is uh, absolutely insane. There's another one down. Is the elite gone? All you've got to do is give him an angle. Yeah, mum. Right, let's go round. If we can, try and stir the hornet's nest. You're done. Come on, my friend. Your destiny is under my wheels. Excellent. <laughs> you just had this thing washed, have you, indeed? Okay. Yeah, they don't even stand a chance. Even, even on Legendary, uh, the snipers are just OP. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Yeah, now the thing with the plasma pistol is you can overcharge it, which will instantly overheat it, but it will strip the shields out in one shot. So, it's not great. Now, if we come up here and find the rest of our men, now the enemy will actually start rushing us. So, we can put our jeep somewhere up here so it's providing overwatch and we can grab some sniper rounds okay that's more like it evening beautiful mm-hmm right can we take a bit of a position up here not really Come to Papa. Oof. Just 
brutal. I like the way they're running and flailing towards us. It does please me. I think we're good. Alright. Cool. Short and sweet. Alright, let's keep these brakes. Ooh, okay. Keep your finger on the brakes. Alright, everybody in the back of the Pelican. Can't really drive through it, sadly. Get on board. Oh yeah, that's just the sergeant waiting. Making sure everyone's on board, and then off. Alright, see you later, guys. Now, is there anything here? There is. Is there anything good here? Yep, there's some assault rifle ammo. Uh, and a medikit, which was nice. Right, let's go get the last band. Yeah, once you understand how this thing works, it's really nice. Ooh, looks like some Covenant have arrived. Well, that's unfortunate for them. Hey, Grunty. Surviving command crew. That's bad. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. Yeah, we got lifeboat it. We got it. No sign of survivors. <sighs> Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure they did. Right, let's see if we can't thin the herd. Hello. Ooh, he just got shredded. Sit down. Double teamed him. Now you want to be careful here because eventually once you've killed X amount, that was stupid. They will start going underground, which is where our team is. Yeah, you're right, buddy. You're all right. We're all good. Happy days for everyone. How's it looking? Oh, got an elite up there. Good night. Put that bastard to sleep. Alright, we've still got some grunts. Yeah, don't panic, don't worry. Everybody's always panicking. Oh! I thought he was going to get cute then. Come on, guys. Sounds like we just lost the sniper. Nope, we lost the gunner. All right, let me show you how to use this thing. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay, we lost both of our dudes. That's a shame. Still, that means more bullets for us. All right, let's go clear this place out. This way, this way. Evening. Okay. Let's try and look after our boys as they come out. Now, it looks like everybody's underground. Get out of here, guys. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. There's got to be some more cobby scum somewhere. Oh, there you are. 
being chased down by a marine. The last thing you'd want to see there is a grenade. At least he got to die in the sun. Right, that usually means there's like one enemy somewhere. He's up here. Think he's done? Yep, there we go. New traffic on the Covenant battle net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser. The truth and reconciliation. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Down on a desert plateau, roughly 300 kilometers upspin. Well, uh, we we can uh, <laughs> we can fix that. We're gonna have to go and uh, get our captain back, I guess. Now, one thing I will point out with the new graphics as well. If you look at the old graphics and throw Here's a grenade, ride. get aboard and let's get out of here. You'll see the big plume of dust and dirt that flies out everywhere. And you hear all of that sand and dirt coming down all around you in surround sound. Unfortunately, when we go over to the uh, new graphics, they've toned it down a little bit. You've still got the sound, actually. They must have patched that back in. But yeah, yeah, the, I think the explosion effects was... I don't want to say definitively better in the original, but it just, I don't know, it, it, it was certainly a lot different. Looks like they have actually improved it since last time I played. They did release a big patch for this, um, one of the final patches for this game, because they're no longer supporting this game anymore, sadly, um, was a big update to the original Halo trilogy uh, visually to bring it more in line with what we had originally. So, yeah, maybe they improved it. Anyway, guys, we're on 50-odd minutes. We're definitely cutting this one in half. Let's go. And with that, guys, we're going to leave it there for the next next video. When we come back, I guess we're going to be going to the Truth and Reconciliation, which is an enemy ship. Hmm. Sounds like it's going to be a little bit hostile. Actually, a really good mission. Really good. Fantastic music. But that will wait for the next time. Thank you for watching. And as always, till next time.